What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Supreme Decisions Legal Minute Podcast. And I'm your host, Supreme Decisions. And today, similar to last week, I'm actually going to do this podcast yet a little different than I normally do it. Because today, we're not going to do any um, commercials. And in the sense of this, I'm going to start this one differently because I want to give people a little bit of context of why I do certain things a certain way. And what I want to offer today is there was an opportunity where I tell everybody, I said, I'm not going to do this where I come across as the angry black dude. I'm not going to do that. And the reason being is because that's not the image I'm trying to project. Now, would someone consider me black? Yeah. Would someone consider me angry? Yes, I get it. It is what it is. But do I want to live that? And the answer is no. And I get a lot of text messages and emails that go into certain aspects of when I'm speaking. But that leads me into this story. It's not a secret that I didn't speak to my father for the better part of 10 years and right up to, pretty much right up to he died, like literally the day before he passed away. And at his funeral or during the preparation of the funeral, People were asking me, I was asked by the pastor, I was asked by um, my mother, hey, why don't you speak at your father's eulogy? I looked around because again, what I was, was not a person that was very fond of my father. But that also gives me a little bit of aspect. Whenever I'm setting up these shows, I do a lot of writing because I do things that allow me to stay focused, stay on point, and not allow a lot of emotion into it. Because for me, the emotion is the thing that kind of detracts from whatever it is I'm trying to give you. The problem is most of you guys want the emotion. You want the passion. You want to hear the, the pitch change. You want to hear something that allows me to do something else. And that's pretty much what was supposed to be done for my father's eulogy. Well, the funniest thing is I got up on the stage and at that moment I made a decision. Literally right then, I wasn't gonna read anything I wrote down because that wouldn't be genuine. I didn't need to stay on point and I didn't need to stay focused. I was going to give you the truth. I was going to give you a part of me. And you've actually heard me say that on a lot of these podcasts because I'm giving you me whenever I'm sitting down and I'm speaking and I'm going through the motions and I'm doing all these other little things. The one thing about it is the simple fact that when I stood up there, the first thing I said was, anybody that knows me and my father know we didn't get along. And I did not like my father very much because that was the truth. When I start out these shows and I start giving you who I am in the show, I'm giving you the truth. I'm giving you the world as I see it I'm giving you the world as I live it. Now, the next part of that was kind of funny because I went into the fact that I literally said, I did everything I could to not be like my father. Then I later realized that everything I did was like my father. And then I look at a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now. I'm giving you something in context. While I'm trying to give you truth, 
I also have to have this in front of me because I don't want to give you something that takes what I'm saying out of context. The guidelines that are set in front of me are things that are set in front of me because I want to make sure I give you the best opportunity to understand everything it is that I'm giving you and the reason I'm giving it to you. Now, many people don't like that, but at this point, it is what it is because staying focused does not detach me from the emotional aspect of it, but it does allow me to stay focused on what it is that I'm supposed to give you. And that's what I'm here for. Because if I leave anything out of context, your understanding and your interpretation is, your interpretations may be skewed. And that is not the point of this. So with that being said, and my opening remarks and my half a minute soliloquy, we can now get into today's episode. And today's episode is about the botch warrant execution on an EMT worker in Louisville that left her shot with eight bullets 